Thanks for taking the time to see me today. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for dropping by. You said you have something new to show me? I do. It's Medtronic's newest dual chamber temporary pacemaker, the model 5392. And I can't wait to show you its features and how it can benefit you and your patients. That does sound interesting. Let's take a look. First, let's review the features that make the 5392 so durable and damage resistant. A robust attachment ring is located on the back of the device. Use the ring to hang the 5392 on a bedside IV pole. When not in use, the ring folds flat against the back of the device. Another feature is the raised edge at the top of the device. It helps the user avoid accidentally pressing the DOO key while the device is lying on a flat surface. That's a great safety feature. Also, on top of the device, the connector block has sockets designed for each chamber, A for atrium and V for ventricle. Notice the sockets are color-coded, blue for atrium and white for ventricle. The 5392 does not support direct connection to external temporary pacing wires. However, there are compatible cables. For more information on compatibility, you can check the guide. Now let's look at the bottom of the 5392. Just press this button and the battery drawer opens. That was easy. Are there any special battery requirements? Just make sure you use two standard AA batteries. Does it matter which way I put the batteries in the drawer? Yes, it does. The 5392 requires proper battery polarity for operation. Ensure that a new set of batteries is installed with each use and that the batteries are inserted correctly. Do this by verifying alignment with the polarity markings on the inside of the battery drawer. Then make sure the battery drawer is closed. So will the device warn me when the battery is running low? Yes, a red light flashes behind the battery status indicator when one bar is visible. When the red light begins flashing, the device has approximately 24 hours or less of battery life remaining. The red light continues flashing until sufficient power is no longer available or new batteries are installed. Will the 5392 continue to operate if the batteries are removed? Medtronic does not recommend replacing the batteries while the 5392 is turned on or actively pacing the patient. However, if the temporary pacemaker is in use during an emergency situation and the batteries must be replaced, ensure that the device is locked before replacing the batteries. Pacing is maintained while the batteries are being replaced for 30 seconds minimum at 80 beats per minute and the output is 10 milliamps for both atrium and ventricle. This product does seem durable. Is there anything that helps protect the device? That's a good question. Medtronic recommends using the disposable cover to reduce the risk of tampering with program parameters. What about a cover to keep it clean? Another good question. Medtronic recommends using a disposable pouch to minimize fluid incursion. I really like what I'm seeing. It's what many customers have been asking for, a safe, easy, and effective way to deliver temporary dual chamber pacing. How should I maintain this device? Calibration of the 5392 should be verified, at minimum, once every 12 months. The expected service life is five years. After five years, you should replace it with a new product. Remember that long-term reliability of the 5392 temporary pacemaker is subject to the actual use conditions of the device. Look at the technical manual for recommendations on routine testing, preventative maintenance, and other tips for reliable operation.